The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness!
What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son. Merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself... to the brink of death. Get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh.
of some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now, we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it, either. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. Might as well make good use of the extra time. Mm, Russian Papa won't do you no good. Whoa! They got Ebony out here. Oh, Ignis is gonna flip. He'll take his time, but he'll get her done. Mm, Russian Papa won't do you no good. Our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Enough for room and board. They've got everything here. <laughs> You're so studious. Well, howdy. moment, knocked. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. I mean, uh, welcome. Things I can tell you. Bet you youngin's got an appetite. Want to help out with some varmints? You boys are a brave bunch. Take care. <laughs> Want to go check it out? What is it?
Take a look at our wares. I'll see you later. Gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? Hate to ask, but could we borrow some cash? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? All according to Sid's plan. I say we play along and teach him not to underestimate us. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though, don't tell Papa. Wow, they got a lot of different stuff here, huh? That's how it works. Looks like we found our first targets. Ready, not. Yeah. Yeah. 
you learn that one, Nox? Excellent work. On we go. What happened here? A telegraph pole's been split in two. And not just this one, either. The hell do you think did this? Hard to say. Natural disaster, perhaps? You sure? The hammerhead doesn't have a scratch on it. Maybe a huge monster came and knocked him down. It better not be the varmint Cindy was talking about. They're gonna know what hit them. Let's do this. Time. Let's get on with it. So, uh, where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Almost there. Give it your all. Stay sharp. Got it. Yeah.
could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. So? What did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. <laughs> What's this? Shack over there. Not yet. I've got a plan. Huh. What are we looking at? This creature is known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks, extracting game from the safety and comfort of burrows. Bit heartless. trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Oh, yeah. We'll take care of it. 
You all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw him. Way to show some spunk. Now let's get ready to kick some tail. to rest up before we set out. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crowns Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh, is it cool that we rock Crown's Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. Even got a sweet insignia on them. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up.
Well taken. Like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. But like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid will stuff his wrench where the sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. Mill breed. We best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be too. Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Ready for round two. Bring it. Biggie, go for it. Gotcha. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. 
It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the legroom in back. Only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Uh, pretend you're walking to the car. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? You realize that's three halves. That would explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. day. Totally. Look where you're going! Didn't mean to do that. Get out of here! We got a little problem over here! Cool. Yeah. Alone? That wasn't bad. Right. Yeah. Than good. Good to go.
No surprises. I can tell you all about the area. What do y'all want to know? If y'all liked it, come on back. the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure, why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. Oh, while I got gotcha. you, if y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. What'll it be? What coat do you fancy? How do you want the wheels? How's this? Y'all leave the hard work to me. She's all ready for you. Have a look. Go. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah, <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. 
Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! Ha. Uh, yeah, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. Everybody out. <sighs> Let's head on out. She's out of my league, but we have so much in common. Who's the lucky imaginary lady? When all this is over, I'm gonna visit her in Hammerhead. up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk, so you all just sit tight. Hmm? Uh, Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? <sighs> just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure, that's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. Uh, hold on a sec, sir. I found an envelope addressed to Meldasio inside the package. Meldasio? The Hunter HQ? Yes, sir. The headhunter ought to be around here somewhere. Mind making one more delivery? What do you say, Not? Might as well while we're in the neighborhood.
Look who it is. I really owe you boys one. Make that two. <laughs> Can't seem to catch a break. Yeah. yeah, looks like they found another one. Wait, uh... Found another what? Tag. Us hunters keep them on our person at all times as identification. What, in case you forget who you are? More like so no one else forgets who they were. Hunters lead a life of danger. Sometimes these tags are the only things that make it back in one piece. It's our job to deliver them to the families of the fallen. As it were, I came out here to do just that. <sighs> if y'all happen to find any tags lying around out there, would you do me a favor and send them my way? Yeah, sure. Word is, somebody spotted a tag around these parts. Try asking the local tipster. He'll point you in the right direction. Huh? I'm grateful for y'all agreeing to help collect tags and all. It'd be a damn shame if your tags are the next ones we find. Like I always tell my hunters, knowledge is power that'll save your ass. Stay informed. I'll save your ass someday too. Never got a chance to properly express my gratitude. Those tags are heavy stuff. They certainly carry emotional weight. We'd best find and return them. And give the families peace of mind. Let's start by following up on that hot tip. How are you today? Till next time! See that over there? What about it? Man, that smells good. Emperor Edelus Aldercats completed his scheduled tour of the Crown City ahead of the treaty signing ceremony. Although the precise date of the signing has yet to be unveiled, preparations are already... Yes, it's Kenny Crow! Come on down to the crow! You dream of driving the open road, but what? It's your vacation. Today's guest is no stranger to our program. For our next story, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. I could eat a horse. We are exonerous. For generations, Meldasio Hunter HQ would like to remind you that in... Now the question on everyone's minds. Who is Prince Noctis? His hardened features belie a gentle demeanor. He's a kind soul who loves animals and nature. Former schoolmates describe him as well-mannered and well-groomed, noting he graduated top of their class. Word has it he takes time from his princely duties to do community service. What a fine young man. Man, that smells good. Welcome to the crow's nest. Can I take your order? Think you're up to the task? That's great.
These are some pretty tough customers. This will be tough. Good luck, boys. Let's hit it. All right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you thinking to fairy tale Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, no need to rush to happily ever after. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. Ah, come on, you can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Yeah, whatever. Came from there. Maybe this way? Where you're going? Didn't mean to do that. Yeah! I can't keep the runs in my sights! Yeah! 
Color's amazing. Temper, temper. Found one already, huh? You done good. Just picking up the pieces, I guess. Well, try to keep your spirits up. Even though I ain't one to talk, I beat myself up over the lives of the hunters I couldn't save. That's what each one of these tags means to me. They hurt. But if I let that greed keep me from looking for them, then their tags and their lives will be forgotten forever. And that'd hurt more than anything. Yeah, guess you're right. You know, that's why I tell all my hunters to collect any tag they see, and I expect you boys to go out and do the same. Customer. Let's call it a day. Soft beds, baby. <laughs> I made sure I got the regalia's good side. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. For our next story, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart 
On receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal, playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And not to your likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. Too. That's Golden Key. Kinda wanna go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. Can't say with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Uh, let me get this shot. Oh, love the lighting. Hello and welcome. Thank you kindly. Please come again.
Welcome to Gold. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> what's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Uh huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. Oh. You believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. Huh. Welcome to the Mother of Pearl. Allow me to take your order. You do know this is a restaurant. Here is the local lineup. Thank you for your patronage. Welcome back. We'd appreciate help with these troublemakers. Oh, this one's especially nasty. Remember, safety first. Out of service indeed. Ah, man, not a ship in sight. What gives? According to my sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. What do you want? Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? really got your number, Nox. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Uh -huh. <laughs> Will we stay in here? Well, just so you know, I'm cool with camping. Mm, this is amazing.
Hey, buddy. What's up? Taking a little stroll? How come you're all alone? You must be hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. I'll find you something. Huh? Gotta come up with some cat food. Could always buy some. Or we could fish for some. Excellent idea. Let's go. That's it! What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Take a look at our wares. <sighs> Pleasure doing business. Pleasure doing business. Hey, come again. Deep blue sea. See you next time. Hmm? They knocked. That looks like a fishing spot. Serious? This will be our first time fishing outside the Crown City. Wonder what you can catch out here. Only one way to find out. Stop reeling. 
All right, this one's perfect. Huh. Great job, Noct. About time for a new line, ain't it? Toward the fish. Good. Perhaps it's time for a break. Respool the line before it's too late. at it. Huh? Take a look at this. What about it? Let's fish. Like a kid in a toy shop. Here you go. Caught fresh. What? You don't like fish? Oh, you only like cooked fish. All right. Welcome to Golden Key. Hey, do you serve anything a cat might like? That the best pickup line you've got? What? No, uh... There's this cat over there. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I have a feeling I know the feline you've got in mind. Let me whip something up. 
Paying customers come first, though, and someone just ordered the last fish on hand. Would you mind catching another one of these while I make their meal? You know what? I think fish is my new favorite! So we can take steak off the table from now on. Whoa! Let's not do anything hasty! Great! I'll start on it right away. You know, this is really thoughtful of you, but be warned. Cats are clingy, and they're notoriously picky eaters, too. Picky eaters? You don't say. When it comes to food, felines are quite finicky. So you are wise to entrust the cooking to me, here. You're one spoiled cat. Aww. I think he likes you. I guess. Clawed his way into a heart. Might keep on clinging. Forever. Everything in order? Yep. All right. right about your lack of dignity. You're one step above delivery, boy. The royal rank carries little weight outside the Crown City. Glad it's not weighing me down. You sure we're in the right spot? According to the map. Let's scope it out. <sighs> let's head on out. Keep you in the dark. <laughs> oh, M. Gee, <sighs> we're supposed to get near that thing. Pipe down before you wake it up. We were at journey's end. The bad feet was fit for a king. Indeed. Knocked. The roads are perilous at night. We best head back into town.
I'll take the wheel from here. So be it. I only ask you keep the recklessness to a minimum. It's rather dark out. You sure you can handle this? I can see fine. Take a load off for a while. Same here. I say we step on it. Not a lucky day. Uh, we got company. Misery loves company. Demons on the prowl. Take care. Time to go. It's real pretty here at night. And yet, by all accounts, it pales in comparison to old Tisha. Seriously? Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. 
You understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. I admit I didn't expect Dino to secure us a ship. Well, must be pretty connected if he can pull some strings around an Imperial embargo. Yeah, that guy's one artful artisan. You guys ready to set sail? Already? The ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? Could crash right here. Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. Hey, uh, morning. Where's Specs? Should be back any minute now. What's that look for? It's in all the papers. What is? Insomnia... false. What? What's your idea of a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get! There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait! Hold on! We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia. But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? <sighs> Lies. Hmm. 
if only. <sighs> what else do we know? Well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to Insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Turn back. Faith. Really? Can Faith stop a fleet of Imperial Dreadnoughts? Just give it a rest. My old man had plenty of Faith! Enough. The Empire lied. They betrayed us. Conjecture gets us nowhere. We're searching for truth. All you'll find are lies. Like that ceasefire. Transport soldiers, namely the Magitek infantry. The robots? Mass produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. It doesn't look like they'll be signing that peace treaty. Set up an inspection point. If the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. Let's make a detour. There ought to be a decent vantage point up ahead. There they are. You want to take them out? Oh yeah. Those scrap heaps are gonna wish they had a treaty to protect them. We should seek a vantage point. The hill. These are empties. 
Empty humanoid soldiers. Soldiers. Merciless. nations. All provisional terms have been suspended in light of recent developments. Moreover, in the wake of the news of King Regis's death, we've now received word that Crown Prince Noctis and the Oracle Luna Freya have also been pronounced uh -huh. dead. Keep it on. Oh. <laughs> Don't bother! the city with no way back in makes sense <sighs> makes sense are you serious what about any of this makes sense the news just told me I'm dead along with my father and Luna listen I'm heading out to Hammerhead <sighs> about the king it's true <sighs> if you're looking for the whole truth you know where to find me get moving Right. What did the Marshal have to say? The city being hammerhead. And the King.
Don't suppose the Crown's Guard is still active? I wouldn't count on it. Not with the Marshal out here. I wonder how things are in the city. There should be reports before long. Yeah, something this big can't go ignored. And what about us? What do we do? We make for Hammerhead now, and figure the rest out later. Got a message from my sister. She's with refugees bound for Lestalem. <sighs> well, at least Iris is okay. Yeah, doesn't sound like everyone else was so lucky, though. We'd best make haste. Noct won't be dead forever. No going back. Only ways forward. <sighs> no going back. Let's go. Hey. Glad y'all made it. <sighs> no weather for driving, that's for sure. Oh, thanks. Where's Cor? Uh, left to see the business. And left y'all a message with Paw Paw. Yeah? Boss ain't sat still one second since he heard y'all were coming. Y'all keep on keeping on now. Ain't never seen Paw Paw like this before. The pep's gone out of him like air from a tire. Y'all keep on keeping on now. Ain't never seen Paw Paw like this before. So much for everlasting peace. Is war her only option? Probably. Wonder why they bothered with the treaty in the first place. Have yourselves a good browse. Much appreciated. Thank you kindly. Man, I swear, if they close off any more road. Crystal and the King's Ring, what they've been after all along. So all talk of peace was merely a pretext. They played my father for a fool. Don't kid yourself. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. Lucius got dealt a losing hand and your old man played it the best he could. He saw this coming a mile away and he wasn't gonna go down without a fight. In the end, though, well, it just wasn't enough. You need something else, you talk to Cor. I can't even remember the last time I saw Reggie. Feels like a lifetime ago. Cora left a message. Said he'll wait for you in the tombs. They're to the northwest of here. That's a short ways past the outpost. Find that first. Interesting toy you got there. This? It's just something we picked up after taking out some Imperials. Well, I'll be Crown City Maid. If you like, I can make this puppy better, give it more oomph. How? I can mod it for you. Mod it? 
Look, I got diddly squat to do what with Cindy taking care of the garage. If you can find the parts, I can do the work for you. And where do we get these parts? Down over that away among the discarded scraps. Pick up whatever looks useful and bring them to me. There's a surprising amount of useful stuff lying around. Go see what you can find. You still here? Hurry up and find them parts already. I'm bored out of my wits. More bark than bite. That's Crown City made. But up. Why, she's looking prettier than ever. Hey, what are you after this time? Pleasure doing business. Hey, come again. The roads are perilous at night. Let us wait for morning. Yeah, sounds good. They will have sealed off the city by now. What do you think it's like inside? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll see for ourselves in time. Indeed. Merely a question of when. Can't believe the crystal's gone. The bastards took it all. And we'll take it back. This is far from over. Could crash right here. You can remain awake long enough to eat.
Hello? Sheesh, thought I'd never get through. Good to hear your voice, Highness. You recognize mine, don't you? It's Dino. Right, the jeweler. Got that right. The best around. Listen, I've been worried about how you guys are doing. How's about you drop by Galden and mingle for a bit? We'll think about it. This must be the outpost Sid mentioned. Yeah, it looks like a hub for honors. Maybe they know something. After this time, I'll see you later. Digging through the garbage, gonna find some treasure to sell it and make money. Hey, working up the sweat now, feeling pretty greasy, all covered in dirt now. Yeah, this is all worthless. Your Highness, I'm glad you're safe. Monica, where are all the others? Most of the Crown's Guard didn't make it. It was all we could do to escort Lady Iris out of the city. Dustin is with her as we speak, seeing her the rest of the way to Lestalem. I owe you guys big time. Head for the Royal Tomb. The Marshal awaits. Across the land, Scylla Blossoms from Tenebrae can be seen displayed in memoriam. With no remains to mourn, throngs have gathered in Altitia to pay their respects. Many offering prayers at a vigil held before the wedding dress Lady Luna Freya was to wear. While some hold out hope the Oracle still lives, a grim silence continues to linger. You dream of driving the open road, but what drives you? Passion, power, Koenig's oil. Stop by your local Koenig station and ask. So I am still young. My blood is true. As my mother before me, I'll work to bring peace to one and all. That marks the ascension of the youngest oracle in history. Is it hard giving blessings? It would be selfish of me to complain of my burden. When so many suffer and wait, I hope they trust I will not rest until they are no solace. The world watched on with worry and wonder as the young girl grew. I understand you have a message for us. If you know of any who are bedridden or unable to come to me, pray, send word, and I shall go to them. I follow my calling. I will not halt my steps for anything else. In time, her strength would become an inspiration to all. What is your opinion of the treaty? When war has ended, so too will suffering subside. The treaty is a momentous step towards a brighter future. Let there be no doubt. We walk the path of true peace. No one has yet been able to grasp the extent of the damage, but what can you tell us about the situation in the city? Occasional outbursts still occur around the Citadel, but the Imperial forces have successfully quelled most sources of unrest. Nevertheless, the streets bear the scars of war. Reports have now surfaced that Lucis was itself arming for an offensive ahead of their clash. This battle may be remembered as one of the most violent in history. 
So those out on the road at dusk should seek refuge at a, at a haven. No doubt that's your best bet right there. Although the Oracle may have left us, may she rest in peace, the Havens are holding strong. Just like they did all during those four years after Lady Silva passed away, and before Lady Luna Freya took up the reins. Just in case, we've got hunters patrolling the Havens and making sure they're safe. So don't you worry. Call Kiss! It's Meldacio Hunter HQ would like to remind you that... Howdy, boys. Y'all happen to stumble across another tag out there in the field. Do me a favor and bring it my way. Crown City, then Hammerhead, then the Royal Tomb? His nickname should have been Core the Restless. Somehow not as catchy as Core the Immortal. Well, making it out of insomnia only adds to his legend. Well, fortune favors the bold. Well, huh? The wise make their own luck. Well, you think it's a coincidence he made it out of all those battles alive? for error. Wrap that up more quickly. We're here. A tomb fit for royalty. Let's go in. Find the marshal. Marshal. At last, your highness. Yeah. Wanna tell me what I'm here for? 
The power of kings passed from the old to the new through the bonding of souls. One such soul lies before you. To claim your forebear's power is your birthright and duty as king. My duty as king of what? Now is not the time to question your calling. <laughs> A king is sworn to protect his people. And yet he chose to protect only one prince. Was that his calling? Forsake the masses to spare his own son? How long will you remain the protected? The king entrusted the role of protector to you. Entrusted it to me? Then why didn't he tell me that? Why did he stand there smiling as I left? Why? Why did he lie to me? That day, he didn't want you to remember him as the king. In what time you had left, he wanted to be your father. <laughs> he always had faith in you, that when the time came, you would ascend for the sake of your people. Guess he left me no choice. That's not the only power your forebears left you. Your journey's just begun. Another tomb lies close by. I suggest you head there next. There are tombs scattered across the land. All are on dangerous ground. I'll go with you, for the time being. Not only to help, but to get a measure of your strength. So, just how many of these powers are out there? There are 13 known royal arms, each enshrined at a royal tomb but we know the location of only a few. I've enlisted the help of the Hunters. They comb the land in search of the lost tombs. <laughs> Where's the one nearby you mentioned? Kikatrick Trench. We know there to be a crypt, deep inside the tunnels. Without any kind of plan? Crush the opposition. That's the plan. Remember, just to see how to do it. Easy as they come. Farewell. That wasn't a bad effort, Prompto. Whoa! I just got praised. By the immortal! Don't take that as a lead to slack off. You're only as good as your last battle. Uh, yes, sir. I'll keep at it, sir. Years ago, we waged a fierce battle here against the Empire. It all went to ruin. And after that, the Empire moved in like it owned the place. Let me get the orders this time. Just keep it short. Yeah! <laughs> 
rock and roll. Here's where we go our separate ways. Take this key. It unlocks the doors to the other tombs. Seek them out and lay claim to the power they hold. You'll need it. And what will you do? Keep an eye on the Nifs. Find out what they're up to. But you should focus on your own task. Showtime. What? I will. You take care. Huh. Here we go. Keep it real, huh? Huh? Look! There's a door. What is this place? It appears to have been a shelter. People lived here? Those seeking refuge from war, most likely. Wars. Huh. What are they good for? Wonder... Huh. What's this? A cable? Wonder where it leads. Well, we can follow it and see. Uh, hey, hey, you want... A generator? So it would appear. Might still run. Start her up. Sweet, it works! Oh, then there was light. Oh man, I do love me some light. Ugh, I hate that noise! What, too atmospheric for- Whoa. <sighs> If it's all the sandy, <laughs> what was that? My bad. Kick the can. You are killing me here, big guy. Are you trying to give me a heart attack or something? I can feel eyes on us. The second we turn our backs, bam! Could ah! be a wuss. <gasps> FYI, we already tried it. Um, hello? Uh, anybody home? Ah! Coming in! Uh, giving up the chase? I personally don't mind either way. Give it up then. A dead end. I could have sworn this was it. Well? Somebody, turn on a light! to swing a sword in here. Don't hit me. Don't not go to throw decks in the dark. Be nice to break things up. Died, huh? Well, just gotta keep moving. Hey, if something's worth locking up, it's worth seeking out. Wah!
Ooh, this looks promising. In an ominous sort of Stay way. Stay sharp. Any plan of attack? Flower I can go on? I'll circle around Done here. So Noct borrows the old king's powers. More or less. At this rate, he'll soon rival his father's legacy. The copycat king. Out of line. Well, what's it like? Hmm. Like I've got some tricks up my sleeve. No need to put on a magic show for us. But it never hurt to practice. Not the time. <laughs> yeah. Finally picked up. Thought I'd lost another king. <sighs> Just busy building my arsenal. 
Good to hear. I have a task for you. The Empire's begun construction of a new base, along the road west to the sky. I need you to put it out of commission. If left unchecked, it will cost us access to the west and all the royal tombs that lie beyond. I believe you've met Monica. She can fill you in on the details. Go see her. What's up? Uh, people to see, bases to burn. Let's go see Monica at the outpost. I think I got a pebble in my shoe. Take it out. Yeah. Come to think of it, we did spy a large structure. Yeah. Hard to miss an ominous thing like that. It ain't gonna be easy taking down a whole stronghold. Can we yeah! really do this? The Marshal believes we can, or he wouldn't have asked us. But first things first. Right. Let's head back to the outpost. <laughs> 